Okay, and now the snake. Get her up. Now, what's very important besides the connection is understanding the center of gravity. So let me explain a little bit about that before I go into the snake. Basically, when you're lifting the lady up, she's coming from your left to your center and either going up or to your right. In this case, she's going to be traveling from my left side to the center to my right. So I'm going to take that straight up. There. OK, and bring her down. Let's try that again. From that point, from the shoulder, I'm going to turn her flat over my shoulder. And I do want to say that we talk about the neck, but the body's lying over the shoulder as well, not on the neck. There's too much weight for the neck to support that. So when we talk about the neck, we really, we really mean the shoulder as well. So once again, center of gravity. She's on the left side. She'll roll in to the center. From the center, she'll go, sorry, from the left to the center to the right. From the right, she's going to roll over onto the shoulder and neck. From here, she's going to keep coming around the body. I change positions here. Continues all the way through. Another key point is to make sure that you have the left knee flex so that she could bring her body around and support herself with her arm. So in this case, it's a little difficult to break down, <laughs> but I'll try. So the first part, she rolls in. One, down, two, very important. Up three, continues to roll to the shoulder. Change your hand position. She comes around the front. Now she'll go right through the legs and rolling her body so that she's in that position. I'd like to demonstrate that straight through. And remember that her body's always having contact through your body all the way through. Again, one going down, sorry, one rolling in, two down. Three up. Let's try that one more time. All the way through. 